So in this video, I want to talk about a new anime that is airing that is coming out or has come out depending on when you're watching this video of July of 2024 which is summer of 2024 on High Dive done by JC Staff and it is based on a manga and it is going to have 24 episodes for the first season and it has the tags of comedy, ecchi, harry, harem, not harry, <laughs> harem, otaku culture school setting and I would like to add romance onto that as well called 2.5 dimensional seduction. Now I'm going to trigger some people. Why? Because I love it. It's my long life dream to trigger as many human beings or individuals or creatures of different planets and species as humanly possible. And so I'm going to say that if you like my dress up darling, but you want to make a little bit more etchy and a harem focus, then this is for you. Now, my dress up darling does have hairy hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm there. It does have some etchy aspects to it. But, it isn't that etchy. I'm sorry, a lot of people over-exaggerate how etchy My Dress Up Darling is. It has some etchy components, some fan servicey, but it's not that big of a deal. This, on the other hand, is super, super etchy. And it is a proper harem. My Dress Up Darling is not a harem. It is just a singular romance focused on two individuals in love with each other. And so for people that want that harem etchy type story that is in a cosplay setting, then this is for you. Now, there are a couple of things to talk about. One, the harem aspect of, are there too many harems? I want to kind of dabble on that a little bit shortly. I may make a separate video for it at a later date. But then also the otaku culture, the cosplay thing. Because cosplay animes aren't super big. Like, there aren't as many out there as I would love. They're becoming a bit more of a trend, and this is something that happens in the anime sort of community, culture, industry, etc., where you get a series that comes out, and it ends up being a bigger hit than people realize, and then a lot of other ones come out soon after. And that's because there's a lot of mangas and light novels that cover different areas, but the animes generally pick what's popular as far as trends go. And this has become a bit more of a trend that people really enjoy. So I'm expecting that we will see more cosplay focused type animes with different types of spins. That's what I'm expecting. And this is a short sign that we are going to start receiving more of those. Now, as far as harems go, I will talk about this potentially in another video if people are interested. But are there too many harems out there? No, there are not too many harems out there. Just like there aren't too many isekais out there. Because there is so much anime and so much variety out there. It's just... It's just a bottomless pit of shows that you can consume in whatever variety you have. It's just, I saw a, a, an interview from someone that asked, like, an anime fan, a female one, like, about harems, and they're like, oh, there's too many male harems out there. There needs to be female harems out there. And I'm like, <laughs> as someone that's watched a lot of animes, there's a lot of female harems out there. So I don't think this is the issue, but I want to talk about the anime itself. Because, like I said before, it's got a etchy harem more focus to the cosplay setting. And I want people to understand what this story is about. Because I actually recorded this video, this is the second time. And the reason why I'm doing it a second time is because I felt like in my original review, I actually felt like I was bashing this series when I wasn't meaning to. And what I mean by that is that I'm trying to explain what the story is about. Because I feel like this story does try to do a specific job that some may see as a good thing or a bad thing. I don't see it as a bad thing. I see it as simply it's trying to fit a certain audience that's interested in that. And that is what I call the self-insert main protagonist. And to create a self-insert, you need to have a protagonist that isn't super deep, super complex, and is very much kind of one-dimensional. Doesn't have many layers as far as a personality goes. And I don't really see him having much of a personality other than the basics that need to be there to make him function on the basic level. The real depth goes into the girls. They're the ones that seem to have the more layers and the more like the more fun stuff going on. And of course, they are the star of the show. At least from the poster, there are four girls. As far as what I've watched, there are two girls so far, and clearly one of them really likes him and has a bit of a past in it, which also is a childhood friend. I've done a video recently about childhood friends and the tropes and the cliches behind it, and I do like when series try to take something that is used quite often, whether you want to refer to it as a cliche or a trope, that's up to you. I don't really care. 
because people will use them as a positive or negative depending on how they want to use it. But for me, it's a style of a story that is used a lot that I think can be done in different ways. And I think this is done in a different way where she, the second girl that's been introduced, asked the main protagonist out and he rejected her because he's into the online waifus more. Which I think is a little bit weird, but at the same time, I kind of see the charm behind him. I just kind of am wondering to myself, it's like, okay, dude, you actually had a cute girl ask you out and you rejected her. You're a bit weird, but I kind of get the charm. Unless there's a little bit more to his backstory where it explains maybe he was like betrayed or hurt by other girls. And so the one girl that finally fell for him, he felt like he couldn't trust them. Maybe that, maybe there's something there, but also, you got to look at this is clearly going to have about four girls. At least three of them are going to like him because it is a harem. A harem is three or more girls that have feelings for the main protagonist. Again, he does not have to reciprocate the feelings. I constantly have to remind people of what the Japanese definition of a harem is. And again, Japanese definition. I expect that he will end up getting rid, getting rid, riv, ugh, getting riv the first girl because that's just what I feel. It, it's clear that she's picking the main character that he likes. They have a clear connection. She has a massive rack and she's really cute and nerdy and really kind of resonates with him. What I want to see in the anime and what I hope to see is more depth behind him that we can see so that there's a bit more connection other than just she's really nice, she's really cute, she has similar hobbies, but that's about it and you really only care about her and you don't really care much about him. As I said, I feel like this is going to be a self-insert, and I don't see that as an issue. I'm just pointing out that that's what the story is about. So if that's what you're into, then this is for you. If that's not what you're into, and you want a harem that has a little bit more depth behind a character, I think depends on how much depth you want. This may not be for you, but I think this definitely fits the comedy etchy harem st style story. It's very much hit those notes perfectly. And I really like it. I really like what the premise is, just because I do like the mature, more mature aspect to it, because I don't think we will get many cosplay style animes that are much more mature. You're going to get a lot more of the tamer ones. And again, some people are going to say, oh, but there's stuff in like My Dress Up Darling that are pretty raunchy. Yes, but I'm talking like hentai stuff. Like, that's what I'm talking I'm talking about stuff that I'm getting sponsored for on my main channel when it comes to that good stuff. Like, that's the kind of stuff that I want to see more of. And actually, not like actually them doing it, but the more fun, raunchy, you know, really get into the nice, seductive, playful outfits. And showing a more fun, risque kind of version of these girls. These girls have a bit of a more fun interest that some girls are very much ashamed to talk about. And that's another aspect of the story that I do think is quite interesting and what did hook me, and I didn't note that in the last attempt on the video, is that it goes into hobbies that a lot of girls are into that are too ashamed to publicly admit about because there's this massive culture about shaming women for being into erotic things. Only men are apparently allowed to be into erotic things. And I think that is such a dumb thing to do because it basically stops women from expressing themselves and allowing them to find a partner that has similar interests because you're just shaming them by them showing interest in hobby. Again, we are human. We do have hormones. We do have these desires growing inside of us. And just because one has different bodily parts than the other doesn't mean only one can like those kinds of things. Both sides like them, it's just one seems to be more shamed into it. And to be honest, a lot of males get shamed into liking that stuff as well, especially with the whole goon culture words. I don't even know what half of those words mean. Honestly, I'm too old for them. I just, at the end of the day, think people should be allowed to express themselves as long as they're not going beyond the law itself and doing absolutely wonko things, and I don't see that as one. I really like where the story is going, I like what the premises are, and I do think this is going to be more focused on the female characters, and he will be more of a glue, or the sort of the centerpiece, but I want to see more of development on him. I don't want him just to be a obnoxious weeb, I want him to be someone that they can kind of actually resonate, and I think he will become a little bit more bearable, I think he will soften up a little bit more as he builds friendships and relationships with these girls, and I mean just relationships in general, like, yeah, friendships, 
and as slowly he realizes maybe these girls do like him more than just a friend. But I want there to be a reason why they like him, not just it fits the plot for the self-insert. But I do feel like there is going to be a fair bit of a self-insert aspect to it. So super looking forward to the series. Love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Looking forward to also different cosplays that they work on. I also find it kind of fun that the girl, well, the first main girl does make the cosplays and he's going to be more of the photographer. So it does it take a bit, a bit of a different spin compared to My Dress Up Darling. It's just I use that as a comparison because that's one of the big hyped up cosplay style animes. And if you want more of that, but just a bit more etchy harem aspect, then this is the one for you. And it's got a little bit more comedy, I feel like, as well. While My Dress Up Darling is a little bit more focused on the character development than anything. So I think both achieve their objectives perfectly. I just think a lot of people are going to be watching this because of hype and then getting upset that it isn't quite what they think. That's why, yes, I'm using My Dress Up Darling as a foundation to say, hey, if you like cosplay stuff and you want this kind of different stuff out of it, then this will be for you. Rather than just saying, yeah, if you like My Dress Up Darling, you'll like this because that would be a bad way to recommend it because then you'd be like, oh, it's like that, right? No. It's different, but got some foundations that are similar. So again, love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.